what's up guys Dance here back with another video and have you guys seen the last video part two of the side jobs up to two side jobs um if you if you um if you watched all the way to the end then you would know basically what this video was for Taylor. Taylor, everybody. Taylor, everybody. But, um, you know what this video is for, and if you can see, if Taylor get out of the way for a second, that box right there. Um, it's an inner cooler, guys. It's a front mount. It's a front mount inner cooler. And as you guys can see, I already opened it. Obviously, I opened it when it came in. Yeah. So, we got a front mount, um, by a company. Ooh. In a cooler by um, this company ARM Motorsports. Um, I've read I've read some things on the forums about them. How they probably knock off like New Speed. Um, you know that was sort of comment. But um, I mean it is what it is, and they are what they are. Um, at the end of the day, somehow I came I found this. I think on Facebook. I think I came across this, and um, I researched it. Did some did some research and um found out I was like hey for the for the price for the same exact intercooler from New Speed or in or any of these other companies um you get basically the same intercooler if not a little thicker for half the price and that's exactly what this is so um with that being said let's get to the unboxing all right paper paper bunch of paper. We got, we got some stickers. Nice. The best part about the packaging of packages anyway. AR ARM or ARM. However you guys pronounce it. Oh, we got a business card. Oh. Installation guide. Eh. <laughs> nice. I don't think I'll need an installation guide. <laughs> but yeah, the best thing of the packages. Stickers. Looks like we have the bracket tree, brackets and the bolts, and look like some nylon nuts in there. Two left nylon nuts. That's cool. Sorry, didn't mean to slam it like that. We have all the uh, necessary clamps for the piping. We have all four necessary couplers. And then here we have the pipes themselves. Oh, that it's not like wrinkly. I mean, it's some nice material. It feels nice. Nice material. It feels pretty nice. Um, hmm. Hmm. Nice. Okay, that's one side. Don't know what on that side is a side. Whatever side is a side. I don't know. Yet. And then for the main, for the main, for the main course, for the main, main course. This is nice. 
This is nice. This is really nice. Look at the welds. Um, like I said, I've seen a forum where they um I don't wanna say they pretty much talked shit about it, but they was just saying how like knockoffish it was of new speed, like it was exactly like new speed's product. And um I've seen new speed products, I haven't seen it in person. But um I mean if it is it is, I guess. I mean it's not like companies aren't already copying other companies. But you know, it is at the end of the day it is what it is. I got what I got. Um and then for the half the price, I mean, come on. That was a that that was honestly the no Yeah, sorry guys. Um but yeah, that was like the this the deal. That was the sealer for me. Um the price. Um they had it listed for four eighty seven. Four hundred four hundred and eighty seven dollars. And um yeah, I just couldn't resist not getting it. So there's the unboxing. I'm really excited to put it on. How about you guys say we go out there and put it on the car, right? Cool. Let's get it. Alright, so we're back. Um we're out here. I got this set up. I got the setup all out here, everything laid out, ready to go. Put my gloves on. But um, yeah, we got everything all set out, ready to go. Got everything laid out, got the cup layers, the clamps, the piping, the cooler right here. So everything is all here, ready to go. So uh, yeah, let's just get straight to it. Um. But first, I need to figure out what exactly, you know. Um, there's always trial and error, obviously, and there's always going to be some things need to be figured out and whatnot. So, let me truly figure out how this goes, and um, we'll be right back. Alright, guys, it took me a little while to figure out how it went. Because um, they don't necessarily give you instructions, and like I said, they the card that had the instruction website on it, whatever, was some BS. So um, I found one video on YouTube, but these guys did not explain nothing whatsoever and didn't show anything whatsoever. So yeah, shout out to you guys, thanks. But from that video, I did pretty much see how it goes. So for those who who's getting this in cooler, think about getting this in the cooler without cutting anything. This is direct bolt up in a cooler without um without cutting up your 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 crash bar here or anywhere else but um yeah so this little bracketry with this ear on it so yeah well this is the way I did it you could probably put it the opposite way as well but um I believe but this is the way that I did it though and um, you gotta make sure so both of these holes and the hole for the inner cooler are two different holes. So um, make sure the perfect circle one, the perfect hole one goes up here on the core support for both sides. And then the other parts still go to the inner cooler. The, um, it's just mopped up right now so that these bolts are still loose on both sides. So once I do that, so I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna take it back off and then I'm gonna fully bolt that on. And then, um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, so what I did is, like I was saying on the car, as far as the brackets go, so I have this straight bracket um, right here. And um, so, like, the way I did it, how it was angled. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Um, but, yeah, this is the way I'm placing it, at least for mine. Um, like I said, for this side, this is the driver's side. This is the passenger side. This is the driver's side. So, um, yeah, I put this nub inside. And, um, I think I said you can reverse it the other way, but you can't. Or, you can, but this, so instead of this being on the inside, this will be on the outside. Um, I haven't tried the outside way, so I don't know how perfect that is. Um, yeah, I haven't tried that way, so I just have my face towards the inside. So, um, yeah. So we're about to put this thing back up now. I still left them, I still left the brackets kind of loose. That way so we can have some like wiggle room 
kind of as far as placing it um, on the core support and where they go on the core support so you have two factory holes in the core support right here one right here and then another one right here on the driver's side and then I believe there's a T I believe they're T30 I believe factory bolt that you actually take out or at least that I had to take out because I did my core support radiator and that stuff so yeah these factory bolts right there and that's where these brackets will bolt up to on both sides so um we're going to get this back up there get it in place tighten it up and then um we're going to get the um let's get the piping on so yeah come back to you guys when we get this mounted up at least all right guys, so we're back we got the intercooler mounted up as you guys can see um like i said we got these bolts i believe they're t30s i believe let's try yep t30s and um for the driver's side bracket like i said so it was i messed up it was my mistake so this little this ear does go on the outside of it because when i had on the other when i had a reverse this wasn't making contact with the core support um it was about an inch away from the core support so flip it the other way and now you got that perfect angle so it allowed us to get this bolt in so um yeah i'm gonna tighten these two t30s right now as we speak if i can find my tools and find out what i need there's hella leaves in my bag okay got that t30 I'm gonna just go behind it with a the gun double-sided ratchet harbor freight best one of the best tools I've ever invested in from harbor freight get the quarter inch on one side three eighths on the other side hell yeah and I simply could have put this on the quarter inch side but I just want the flex with my T-ratchet. Okay, so now that's in there. That's sturdy, that ain't going nowhere. I'ma actually tighten up these brackets cause they're not super tight, they're just really snug. That way so I can still move them with an angle. But um, yeah, I'ma tighten these up and then um, they're gonna get these couplers on, or sorry, the couplers, well, yeah, the couplers and the, uh, the piping, so let's do that what's happening guys so we're back as you guys can see right here got this side piping on gets the driver side we're getting this piping on guys this installation honestly is really easy like I said once I pretty much kind of watched that video um, it was kind of it was kind of simple from there well that you don't need the video for one I mean it's gonna take a little brain power but I mean it's 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 an easy thing to do and this mother freaker ain't going nowhere. This shit's on there, tight. But um, yeah, we're getting these cup. I'm getting these piping and couplers and clamps all on there. Um, inside of there is all straight. So I'm gonna get these on here and tight right now. And then we're gonna move to the other side. These are size. These are clamps. Nuts are size 12. Nice nylon nuts for that. Um, oh yeah guys so we do do this for both horns driver's side and passenger side you're gonna need to turn them upside down so stop OEM there the horns are at the bottom so just flip them up top that way so you can get the piping in that's for both sides as well and then like I said it's pretty much simple from here if you get this kit in, spe in specific um, the longer piece of piping goes on the driver's side and like I said these nuts for these clamps are a size 12 
You want? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Now, for now, for this sensor that I accidentally broke, I a complete accident. Um, which is okay because you're actually just gonna relocate this sensor on this bracket. On this, on this bracket. Put it in the cooler. That's what this, this, um, this ear is for. On this bracket here, it's so you can relocate this sensor. So I'm gonna do that right now. If I can figure out how to do it. Let's disconnect that and then. Um, looking for, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a screwdriver. Hey y'all, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, I had the hardest time getting this out of this bracket, but that's whatever. We got it out now, so yeah, that's all that matters. So let's plug this baby back in there, and then we can uh, put this in here and go on about our business. Now that's in there. That right there. Now we can go on about our business. So now, now we can move on to the passenger side, get that piping on and everything. So yeah, let's do it. I had to take a break, a little break, because I was a little confused here. So these, all these clamps are different sizes. There's two different sizes. So like for instance, we have a 75 over 67, and then we have a uh, 71 over 63. Now I'm assuming the 71 over 63 is the smaller one. So the smaller one obviously goes on like the outside, but the 75, 67 one goes on the inside towards like the actual piping side of it. Um, if that makes sense as you can see so yeah the 75 ones go on the in, inside and the 73 is going out on the outer edges so where is the other i had two 75s over here this is 71 this is a 71 this is 75 thank you yeah so this is a 75 so this 75 will go right here Took me a little time to kind of put that together. I was like, I was confused. I'm like, what the hell is going on with this? I thought I was tripping, which I usually always am, but I wasn't this time. <laughs> Y'all know I be tripping, okay? Mm -hmm. Ain't no shame in my game. I be tripping. We all be tripping. Fuck out of here. But yeah. Nevertheless, we will get it right. Just waiting to me for all this crap. Simple, 
something simple as paper instructions in a box would have helped a lot. But I mean, who listens? Who looks at instructions though, right? Look at that. I don't like this. This looks like it's gonna blow off. So I'm gonna adjust it some more. I'm gonna keep messing with this one. Adjust it because I don't like how that looks. That looks like that's gonna fly off. In the meantime, though, I will do this. Let's do this. Let's just put the clamp on there. And have everything set up on it on the card. How about that? Then we'll go from there. How does that sound to you guys? Awesome? Cool. So the sounds fucking awesome to me too. <laughs> on the car okay hmm. Hmm. got a little problem here hmm. the horn the horn is what I forgot to do duh where is a duh? What am I, a stupid? But to be honest, guys, I really thought I did this already. I know I did this already, unless I'm tripping. But I could be tripping, though. Like I said, we all be tripping. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Ain't that right, y'all? Ain't that right, y'all? I know it's right. You ain't gonna tell me. I know. Y'all know me. We gonna, we gonna wing the heck out of it. Excuse me, got a phone call. Whew. All right, guys, we're back. So, took a little, not a little. Honestly, it took a lot of finagling to get this to fit right on the passenger side. Um, I just honestly think I got one of the 75s over there because I think it's four 75s on that side. And um, on the on the driver's side, and I literally have two 75s on this side, but I think I made it work for the most part. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna tighten this clamp down. Whew. Now, now we're done. We're done, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. It took me way longer than I wanted to. It's because I had to do a lot of, it's not a lot of finagling. And those clamps aren't really in the spot that I want them to be at, but. I don't want to say it's whatever at this point. Because I want it to look nice. 
and I don't really want you to see the clamps. So I might readjust them. I might not. I might probably this one, but that's one. This one, the one that took a lot of finagling. So I don't know, boys and girls. But that's it. That's the Inacool install. Um, in the morning. I'm gonna just get some clips in the morning that way so you know everybody can see it obviously you guys can see it in the daylight and that way so I can see it in daylight too because at night it don't really do us justice it looks great it looks great but obviously it's dark out and it don't really do us justice okay we got, got some light but it looks really good I'm happy with it I'm excited And um, I'll see you guys in the morning for some morning clips. So, see you guys. All right, guys. This is the next morning. Um, like I said, I got some adjustments to do. Um, for under here. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but it sits a little crooked. Um, if you can see this side, the passenger side is higher than the driver's side. If you can tell, if you look at the very top fin right here, you can see how you can see it more and more right here. And this nut is exposed right here, and you can't really see it. I mean, you can see it, but not as much as you can on the driver's side. So, and that is because of this bracket right here. If I can get better lighting, this bracket right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But yeah, there you go, that bracket right there. Um, I need to do something about that. So, because the intercooler isn't sitting all the way flush up to the crash bar like this side is. And I have to, and I'm gonna push this coupler on more to the intercooler. But this side is good. But this side is, yeah, more exposed, so. I'm gonna adjust. I'm gonna adjust that more. I'm gonna figure out what to do about this bracket tree because I don't have nothing to cut it off with. So hopefully I can just keep bending it and see what it does. But yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. I get. I did, oh, excuse me. So I got the intercooler all on, as you guys can see. I made my little adjustment. Um, as you guys can see, well, you can't see from right here from this view. I got the couplers all the way on there. I mean, yeah. I got the couplers all the way on the inner cooler. All the clamps are tight. Um, under here, all those clamps right there. Those two clamps right there are tight. Yes, I know, I got them in two different places. Yada yada, nobody's gonna see that though. All right, over here, same with these. I got these all tight. And on there, all the way. We don't want no boost leaks from there. We don't want no boost leaks at all. Yep, these are both of these are all tight facing the same way. Got those tight, crash bars tight, everything's tight. Um I do need to go back though and mess with these headlights, get these corners right. I mean this corner is okay, it could be better. It's fit, fit fitment's a little weird on that corner. Um same thing on this corner too. As far as the headlights go. It's a little wonky. We got a little space in between there, so I'm gonna go back in between that. I'm gonna go back and adjust those again. But I just wanted you guys to see <clears throat> that and look in here. We got coolant in here. So you know what that means for a startup about to happen real soon. But yeah, let me uh let me do some adjustments and um we better be ready to start this car. This right here makes me 
so freaking happy. So right now I'm bleeding the cooling system. Right now I'm letting that bleed. Um, letting it circulate. Like I, I mean, this is a new radiator, obviously, so it's gonna take a lot of coolant. But um, yeah, I'm ready for this process, guys. I am really freaking excited. Really excited um, to hear this car start back up again with every mostly everything that I want to do with it. Um, I'm gonna say about. 90% of the things I want to do with it, at least for now. But um, yeah, this really makes me happy. This really makes me happy right here. Just hearing her purr, just hearing her purr again. And I don't, right now, I don't have the tune on it yet. I don't have the cob access on it yet. Um, it's in the house. Um, I'm updating it right, I'm updating it right now. But um, yeah, I took the tune off of it. So I'm gonna just let, I wanted to let the, the system bleed first. Let the heat get hot, you know, like the fans take on, etc. I wanted that to do its thing first, and then once that, once that's all together, then um, then I was going to put the tune back on it, and then um, probably take it, most likely take it for a test drive. But freaking good <laughs> it was really it was really strong so let's go back to the house tighten these couplers again and we're gonna go again so guys the GTI drove great just as I remember it uh, performed well um, as soon as I tightened those as soon as I tightened those intercoolers I went from like you know three more like really hard runs and they're still on there so I want to say it's safe to say you know that the car is completely done is dialed for now you know for what you know we're doing for what we're doing and what we're going for right now but um yeah I'm thinking I might, I might give it a little rinse down maybe it's cloudy out today it's been cloudy but it's nice as hell not, not cold not hot sun is out well it was but the clouds are moving over but it was a beautiful really beautiful day today um yeah, so I was really anxious to get this back on the road, like really anxious. So 
so anxious to get this back on the road you guys don't you know how excited I am which I mean I guess if you've had project cars and this is not saying this is a project car but if you guys had you know a car sitting out for a certain amount of time and you did work to it and then you start it up and you know check everything you do test drive stuff like that and you make sure everything's great and everything's good so that's what's really you know I'm really happy about that um, I was like I said I was anxious to get it back on the road so that's why I decided to uh, to finish it up and I was waiting for well not waiting for I haven't even ordered it but eventually I'm gonna order it you know soon and then that's gonna be something for the 2021 year possibly but um but yeah I mean, for now she's done I guess you could say she's done for now we're just gonna keep daily in it I'm excited but um yeah I'm gonna give her a little rinse down um but thank you for watching guys this is the end of it sorry in the video thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully this video um really went into detail hopefully i went into detail enough for those out there getting this exact same in a cooler and brand or possibly you know a different one so hopefully this really went into detail on how you're really so you know supposed to, supposed to go about it but um yeah guys like i said thank you guys for watching remember to like comment subscribe um share with whomever and um yeah we'll see you guys in the next one peace